Hey everyone, welcome to another training video in SC200 Microsoft Security Operations Analyst series. In this training video, I will cover the module on performing actions on a device where you will learn how can we collect the data or perform actions during the investigation and remotely access the devices. The key learning objectives of this module are performing the actions on a device using the Microsoft Defender 4 endpoint, conduct forensics data collection using Microsoft Defender 4 endpoint, and access devices remotely using the Microsoft Defender 4 endpoint. My name is Navneet Kumar and I'm a Microsoft Certified Trainer. In case you are new to this channel, please do subscribe it for future updates. When investigating a device in Microsoft Defender 4 Endpoint, you can take various response actions to manage, collect the data and remotely access the devices. These actions help you analyzing and mitigating the threats effectively. The following actions can be taken on the devices. For an example, managing tags, which can allow you to add or modify the tags to categorize the devices for easier management. We can initiate the automated investigation that helps for automatically investigating the suspicious activities on the devices to identify any threats. We can initiate live response sessions that allows you to remotely connect to the devices for real-time troubleshooting and the investigation. We can collect the investigation packages to collect the essential data, logs, and the information from the device for deeper analysis. We can run the antivirus scans to perform a quick or full scan to detect and remove any malware. We can restrict the app execution. We can block specific applications from running to prevent any malicious processes. We also can isolate the devices we can disconnect these devices from the network to prevent further spread of the threat. We can contain the device that limit the device's ability to interact with other systems. We can reduce the risk of the lateral movement by the attackers by doing this. We can consult a threat expert. We can request the expert advice from Microsoft Security for advanced threat analysis. The Action Center is the central, central place to view and manage the ongoing investigations, alerts, and response actions. Well, these actions allow the security teams to investigate, respond to, and remediate the threats across the devices in an efficient and controlled manner. Talking about collection of the investigation package from the devices, we need to collect additional information like the logs that we can do with the help of collection of the investigation packages. When the investigation or the response to the threats in Microsoft Defender for Endpoint, you can collect the investigation package from the devices. The package can include the critical data, as I mentioned, the logs, and then help analyze the incident. The collected information not only include the logs or not only limited to the logs, the data is included as following. It can include the auto runs, the programs set to run automatically on the startup on the devices, the installed programs, a list of software installed on the device, network connections, the active network connections and the associated data, Prefetch files that Windows uses to speed up the program launches. Processes that are running on the device, we can collect these processes with their details. Scheduled tasks that are set to run at a specific interval. Security event logs, the logs that are captured uh, by the devices for security related events on it. The services, the system and application services that are running on this device, the SMB sessions, the active SMB connections, 
that are used for the file sharing purpose. System information, the general device details like the operating system version or the hardware configuration of the device. Temp directories, the temporary files that might contain the valuable forensic evidences. Users and groups, the information on the local users and groups on that device. WD support logs, the logs that are generated by the Windows Defender for troubleshooting. This package, or I must say investigation package, helps the security teams to thoroughly investigate the potential threats and collect the necessary data to respond efficiently. We also can initiate the live response session in Microsoft Defender for Endpoint. This provides the security operations teams with the instantaneous uh, remote access to the device using the remote cell connection. This enables the real-time analysis and actions during the investigation and the response. If I talk about some of the basic or advanced commands that we can use in the live response, these are like connections where we can view the active network connections on the device, file info to collect the detailed information about the specific file for an instance its hash size or the attributes of it persistence that is used to check for the persistence mechanisms like the auto run entries that might allow malwares to run again after a reboot the processes the list of all running processes and their details registry to access and inspect Windows registry keys and the values. The scheduled tasks, we can view and manage the scheduled tasks set on a device. Services that lists the services running on the device, including the system and the application services. We have advanced commands as well. For an instance, analyze that is used to analyze a specific file, process or any other element for any uh, malicious or potentially malicious uh, activity. We can get file to retrieve a file from the device for further analysis. We can run to execute a command or a script on the device remotely. We can use library to interact with the system libraries to perform advanced investigations or the commands. We can use put file to upload a file to the device from your local machine for testing or remediation purpose. We can use Remediate to automatically take actions to remediate the detected threats. For an instance, we want to stop the processes or delete the malicious files. The live response helps the security teams to take the real-time actions to investigate and contain the threats on the device. This facilitates the fast response time and the efficient threat mitigation. Well, this brings to the end of this module. I will see you in the next module talking about performing the evidence and entities investigation in Microsoft Defender for Endpoint. I hope this video was informative to you. Thanks for watching and do subscribe the channel for future updates.